Good morning, my brilliant students. How are you doing? I hope you're doing great. So let's start with our daily routine. I want someone to help me and to say the date and dates. So who wants to help Miss Wuna today and to say the day and date? So everyone, what's the day? Monday. And what's the date? April 6, 2020. So well done, everyone. So everyone, before starting the lesson of today, I want to say thank you so much for all the great work you submitted the last uh, three weeks. And um, I am extremely glad and I feel over the moon every time I see your, your work. And um, I want you to clap your hands for Ali Muhammad, Ali Rashid, and Dazari for collecting more than 100 points on Class Dojo. And I am waiting for more students to get this lovely certificate. And for sure, I and your parents will be so proud of you. So I want you to work harder and to keep up the good work, my wonderful students. So everyone, let's move to the lesson now. I want you to be ready as usual, sit properly and listen carefully, and please follow the instructions and the steps. So um, if you look over here, you can see, um, you know, uh, or let me say the title here is about vocabulary words. So some of you will say, yesterday we learned four vocabulary words and why we're gonna you know learn this again no we're not gonna do this again but uh, we have more uh, words to learn we have four more words to learn and the total is eight because yesterday we learned four and today we're gonna uh, learn four so everyone by the end of the lesson you'll be able to understand the meaning of each word and also you put them in sentences so as you can see here, there's a link. The link is very useful. You can uh, visit the link before starting the lesson. So let's move to the lesson now. Okay, I want you to be ready and try to catch up the new vocabulary words. We have four to learn and they are easy. So as usual, um, let me go over here. So as usual, if we if we have a new word to learn, we need to look at the picture to describe the picture and read the sentence, and this will help us to figure out the meaning, right, everyone? So um, let's go ahead and uh, look at the picture and try to describe uh, what, or I want you to des to describe what can you see. So I want you to look at the picture, please. Can you? Um, I want you to, to describe what can you see. So I need your help. Can you help me? So remember to use adjective words when you uh, want to describe something. And also remember that descriptive writing we've learned before. So what do you see? I see many big coins. Okay. So let's read the sentence also. There was plenty of fresh corn at the picnic. So the word, the first word for today is? Plenty. So let's listen to the word together and I want you to repeat, please. Plenty. 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 There was plenty of fresh corn at the picnic. So uh, as you can see, there was uh, enough for everyone enough for everyone so let's read what's written over here plenty if you have plenty of something you have enough for everyone there was plenty of fresh corn at the picnic what is something you have plenty of so you have enough for everyone and I was talking about the corn but I want someone to answer my question which is what is something you have plenty of? I have, pl my mom brought me plenty of cakes at my birthday party and it was enough for everyone. Excellent, can you give me another example? 
There was plenty of food in the fridge, but my sister did not want to eat any. Okay, that's excellent. So, remember everyone, uh, the word of today, plenty means you have enough for everyone. So, let's move to the next word. Okay, um, let's go to the picture first. And I want you to look at the picture. I'm going to give you some time. I want you to think about, um, you know, a way to describe the picture. So, I see two boys that look exactly the same but a bit more different. Yes. So, um, let's read the, the sentence together. There are many similarities between my brother and me. So, this is the word. Similarities. Um, okay. So, let's listen to, to the word from here and repeat it, please. Similarities. 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 There are many similarities between my brother and me. Okay. Have you figured out the meaning? Let's go over here and check. Similarities. If two things have similarities, they are almost the same in some ways. There are many similarities between my brother and me. What is the opposite of similarities? So, um, what I want to say to you is, uh, if two things have similarities, they are almost the same in some ways. So, if you look at the picture here, you, as, as you can see, the two boys are almost the same, are almost the same. So, this is the second word of today. Let's move to word number three. And I want you to look at the picture. Please describe what can you see using adjective words. I'm going to give you some time to think. So let's go ahead. So can you tell me what can you see? I see some boys happy because they won or win something. Okay. So let's. Let's read the sentence. Winning the race was a great victory for our team. So the word is? Victory. Okay, let's, I want you now to listen to the word and repeat, please. Victory. 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 Winning the race was a great victory for our team. Okay, have you figured out the meaning? Let's go and read. So, listen carefully. Victory. A victory is winning a contest or game. Winning the race was a great victory for our team. Tell about a victory you have had. Okay, so a uh, victory means to win something. To win something. Okay, so who can uh, please, um, you know, Talk about the last question. Tell about a victory you have had. And, you know, who wants to, to talk about this? I've won ha once had my victory when I won a race. Excellent. Well done. So let's go to the last word of today. We're lucky. We're about to finish. Okay. So this is the last word of today. And I want you to, you know, uh, look at the picture, describe the picture, and also try to read the sentence. So I'm going to give you some time to think about the picture and also to read the sentence. Okay, so can you tell me what do you see? I see a girl and her grandpa helping each other. Yes. Okay. So, let's read the sentence. Grandpa used his wisdom to help me solve my problem. So, we can say, Grandpa is helping the girl, right? To solve her problem. So, this is the last word. So, let's listen to the word and repeat it. 
Wisdom. Wisdom. Grandpa used his wisdom to help me solve my problem. Okay, so have you figured out the meaning? Wisdom. Okay, let's go to to read the definition from here. Wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what is right and using what you know to make smart choices. Grandpa used his wisdom to help me solve my problem. Tell how you know someone has wisdom. So, tell how you know someone has wisdom. You know what, everyone? I'm going to talk about our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he was, um, you know, a wise man and, um, you know, he was guiding and helping the people. So, if we go back to wisdom here, it means uh, to know what is right and also to uh, use your knowledge to help the people. So, can you tell me how you know someone has wisdom? I know that my aunt has wisdom because she's very smart and always makes the right choices. Yeah, that's excellent. <clears throat> well done. So, everyone, this is the last word for today. And I want you now to... Okay, let's revise together all the words. As I said to you earlier, we have eight vocabulary words because yesterday we learned four and today also we learned four more. So, I need your help. So, let's remember the words together. I want you to use your background knowledge flashback and let's uh, say the word and the meaning also so can you help me yay well done so let's go to the first one let's read it together ashamed well done and what does it mean embarrassed or guilty to feel sorry or guilty about something excellent so let's move to this one boast and what does it mean to brag about something. Excellent. Dash. To run quickly from something or someone. Okay. Holler. To shout or call for someone. We can say also yell. Yes. Plenty. Enough for everyone or someone. Okay. Similarities. To find something that looks same like another thing. Okay, almost the same we can say. Victory, winning something. Excellent. Wisdom, a person who is smart and has the right choices. Make the right choices, excellent. So everyone, let's go... Um, let me say task time and as you see we have task one and task two so um you know you can choose one of them or you can do two of them it's up to you so let's go to task number one as you can see i want you also to look at the pictures and uh, read the sentences choose the correct word from the box below for each meaning so here is the meaning the meaning is written over here and you need to find uh the word so, uh, look at the first picture and then read the sentence. Can you read it or I mean the meaning? I need someone to read who can help me. Many things are same between two or three things. So, the key word here is same. Same. So, what can we choose? Which one from over here? Similarities. Excellent. So, this word is over here excellent now let's move to number two there is a lot of something you have enough so you have enough so uh which one plenty excellent so it will go over here so now let's move to um let me say number three okay let's read it together Winning a contest or a game. Yes, so which one do you think? I said winning, the keyword to win something, to win a game or whatever. So the word is victory. 
excellent this word will go 